first ever EDC list for 2022 and the channel. So yeah, if you don't have these items, you are a loser. That escalated quickly. Just kidding, but seriously though, I got some items I wanna show y'all. I think they're awesome and they're gonna make your EDC dreams come true. So let's get it. What is happening everybody? I'm Wildcard EDC and today I'm gonna to be going over my top favorite uh, EDC carries for 2022. But before we get into it, I wanna show you a knife that I actually don't like carrying. What are you doing? Hmm? I'm pulling a wild card here, man. This is the Benchmade Freak. A lot of people call this one the Super Freak because it's got G10 scales and it's kind of an upgraded version of the previous Benchmade Freak that they have. Now, this is a rad knife. It really is. Um, there's a lot of detail in that G10. It's sort of layered, multicolored. Very cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. cool. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, this is an M4 blade, so it's a super steel. It's got great ergos. It opens nice, and it's got the axis lock and you can kind of sort of flick it open. My problem with it is that it is big. This thing is too big for like a typical EDC carry. It takes up a lot of real estate in your pocket and I'm just not a big fan of it. It's a cool knife, but I don't carry it very often. For starters, and this is super obvious, but you gotta have a phone. This one is the iPhone 13 Pro Max and it's just been great. These big old giant freaking cameras here these lenses actually do a really good job of capturing video. It's great for capturing audio and everything like that, super fast. Anyway, great phone, everyone has one, so it doesn't really matter. My next favorite Apple product that I use every single day of my life, and that is the AirPods Pro. You can run with these on and it's no issue. They don't fall out. They also pump like negative sound waves in so that it cancels out other active sound around you. Nerd alert! I can't explain it very well because I'm not a scientist. Incredible technology. I literally think these are the best Apple release since the iPhone. So I've talked about tactile turn before. Yeah, y'all know tactile turn. This is the slim bolt action pen. So there's your bolt action. And it's got these ridges, kind of like what's on the knives, if you can see them there. So that gives you a lot of grip. Another thing that I love about this pen is it is very fidgety. You can fidget with this. Yeah, I play with this all day. This is my work pen and this is me all day, every day. Driving my cube mates crazy, but you know, deal with it. Another thing that I like a lot about tactile turn pens is most of them fit the Pilot G2 um, gel ink, which me personally, I think is the best on the market. Well, I, I, well me personally, I actually, I, I, I. All right, we're keeping it moving. Sharpie king size. It's just really cool. I would never carry this with me though, but yeah. No EDC list would be complete without representing Burt's Bees. Woo! This stuff is the best lip balm on the market. Game changer. Every now and again, it is nice to make a list on actual paper. And so when I do that, it's really nice to have a little notebook. Doesn't take up much space. Has some good paper. And I like these dots. I like them more than the lines. You can get field notes in either form though. So yeah, I don't know about y'all, but I usually feel like I'm a lot more productive when I create a to-do list and then I'm able to literally cross the item off. It just feels like a better sense of accomplishment. So here we go. Make EDC video. There you go, I fixed it. So I mentioned a knife that I don't love for EDC. Here is a knife that I do love for EDC. This is the Benchmade Bug Out. Woo, in carbon fiber. If you're a part of the EDC community, you've been here for a while, you know this knife already, um, because it is pretty incredible. It is ridiculously thin. This is the thinnest knife that I own. And with this carbon fiber, it's insanely light. You can flick it. It's easy to fidget with. It's got that access lock, so you can just open and close as you want. It's got great blade steel. This one has CPM S90V. I'm a big fan of it. Yeah, it does. You put this in your pocket, you will forget that it's there. That's how like easy this knife is to carry. It's fun to fidget with, easy to open, smooth, and you can spidey flick it. It's not the most spidey flickable knife in the world, but 
you can get her done. So right now I have the Johnny Wallet. This is from Loyal Strickland. This one is Shell Cordovan, which I believe is horse. It has a really cool texture to it. It's kind of glossy, almost too glossy at first, but once you start using it a lot, it gets kind of messed up, kind of scratched up. It develops a really cool patina to it and um, it stops looking like plastic and it just starts to look like awesome leather. One thing that's also cool about Shell Cordovan is the, the underside of the leather is very, very smooth. And so it just, it feels, the whole thing feels like quality. In fact, a lot of wallets can be made of reverse Shell Cordovan. I have one here. Yeah, this is a different wallet that I have that is reverse Shell Cordovan. So this is literally the underside um, of the leather. So it's, it's this material here and it ages to the point where it just looks like regular natural leather. So super cool stuff. This is more expensive. I think this wallet is like around $200. I got one of those hella sweet lives. Stop saying hella. This is the MagSafe battery pack that Apple made. They only offer it in white currently, but this thing is a lifesaver if you use your phone a lot and your battery's always dying. Stick it on the back. Good to go. Highly recommended, and this is a game changer when you're traveling. Can't forget about the watch. This is the Apple Watch Series 7 in the stainless steel case. I used to have aluminum, but I don't know. I wanted something a little classier and something that looked a little bit less like it was just an iPod strapped to your wrist. Classes it up a little bit, but don't leave home without this. This is the 45 millimeter version, by the way, the bigger one. This strap is the Active Band Pro from Nomad Goods. It's kind of sort of waterproof. This strap costs about 60 bucks. It looks great. It's good kind of leather and it does patina. It gets kind of darker as you wear it and I think it starts to look really, really cool. It sounds very cool. Remember who's writing the checks here? Very cool. All right, we got time for one more knife. This is a Spider Coast Shaman. Too big to EDC in my humble opinion, but I still like it a lot. It takes up a lot of real estate in your pocket. But man, if you want a folding knife with a big old blade, this is the way to go. Nice. So that is my list for 2022. My most used favorite EDC items. Um, let me know if y'all have any of those, what y'all think about them. Did I forget anything, leave anything off the list that you must have in your life? Um, yeah, let me know below. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if there's anything that you want me to review in the future. And as always, stay wild. Peace. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool.